What? Right, man. Cozy Boy x Thomas Reed x Rex Boy. I think that's what it is. Hope it'll be a good day. Um, brand new artist. We've never done this before. It is a Patreon request, so we're going to get to do it. But before we even start, I just want to say to everybody who has um, uh, joined as a member on Patreon, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, the support has been overwhelming. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, I do have a Patreon page. I've got the link down in the description. If you want to join Patreon, you if you don't, if you can't, or you're not willing to join Patreon, that's absolutely fine. I understand it's a very difficult year as well for many people, and you need to look after yourselves first, right? So um, if you can, 100%, and you'd like to support the channel, fantastic. If not, I'll take any support. Just you being on YouTube is very, very, very more than good enough for me. So, right, man, Cozy Boy, Thomas Reed, Race Boy, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Hope it's all, hope it'll be good, a good day. Um, as you know, it's great the format. We're grading all music out of three specific categories, which is sound, content, and obviously vocal ability of the artist. We have not done this artist before. So, hey, let's see what we got, man. You know I love new music, so let's see what we got. Let's roll. Grade the form. Tree of life on your finger, let's go. When I walk, but they don't see I move my feet at least forward in my sleep I wake up from dreams I like the way he started that They didn't see I stumble when I walk But they don't see that I move my feet to least, at least a little bit forward when I sleep Right? I got dreams I got dreams I like that Very, very, very clever Very, very clever way to say that I do have dreams Let's go, man See, I move my feet at least forward in my sleep I wake up from dreams that folded into nightmares And night tears my eyes wide open in the sheets I wrestle with demons, pieces of my mind Scatter swiftly into air when I talk to all these people that I care about Air it out, that's just what my therapist been saying She been helping me with scary thoughts and girls I really like a lot Okay, so this is real. As you know, I like real artists, man. I don't know these guys. I don't, I don't know any of these guys at all. Um, but I like what he's talking about over here because it's real. It's real. You know what I mean? Nightmares, people going through anxiety, people going through uh, situations where uh, I've had countless nights, countless days where I've just sat in bed and just stared at the ceiling and just literally can't sleep because there's just too much haunting you in life. You know what I mean? And I like the fact that he's saying that he says, I spoke to my therapist, my therapist is trying to be helped. And a lot of people, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like, sort of like, um, um, there's like a negative air around people having to see it like a psychologist. There's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. People need to talk to people. If I had to suggest anything to people is that if you're going through stuff, absolutely talk to people. If you can, if you can see a psychologist and can afford a psychologist, then go and speak to a psychologist. There's nothing wrong with it. You are human. You need to talk. You need to remove that log from your chest or else it's just going to keep on getting backed up and backed up and backed up. And like I've said before, it's like a glass. It's like a glass of water, right? That's how life is. Life's a glass of water and it goes drop and drop and you can manage it and you can manage it and it gets a little bit fuller and a little bit fuller and a little bit fuller day by day. Those drops just keep going and it comes to a point where that glass can no longer contain the volume of water and it starts spilling out and what happens when it starts spilling out you start to bleed on people who never cut you you start to snap at people that never did nothing to you right because your glass is full you can't take any more pain you can't take any more uh, uh, um, a stress you can't take it's important to talk every time you talk to people every time you hash things out every time you air things out every time you communicate all it does is it just empties a bit of that water in that glass. It's always going to fill. That's life. Life's always going to come with its its uh, tough times. And that glass will always fill. But you need to make sure that you keep emptying that glass. Or else you're going to reach a point where there is a snapping point And other people will suffer for your pains. You know what I mean? So let's go. I've been I 
that I've been trying hard to fix myself this year. Come on, bro. I was slower in my dreams and he's saying that the knives are poking me as i as i speak the knives are poking me this pain never goes and people really suffer with this and there's a in the world that we're living in today specifically with what's going on around the world right now where economies economies are being trashed at the moment right people tend to always go on about the physical health physical health physical health you know this physical health of this this, you know, if you don't keep physically healthy uh, um, and if you don't social distance and that kind of thing, this virus is going to get you. What they're not focusing on is the mental state. They're not focusing on is the mental state of people and what people are currently going through, right? Because this is going to have repercussions on, on economies. This is going to have repercussions on people for years to come, man. I mean... People are being retrenched. People are losing their jobs. People are not being able to put food on the table. People are going into debt. That all plays in your on your mind. Your mental health. If your mental health is not strong, I don't care whether you're five or whether you're twenty-five or whether you're fifty-five. Right? Mental is everything. You've got a better chance of fighting a virus when your mental state is 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 uh, clear than it is when it's completely in turmoil. Right? Your immune system will get completely crushed by your mental state. And the thing is that we're not focusing on the psychology of it. We're not so focusing on the psychology of, of, of people at the moment. You know what I mean? People are going through such difficult times. And people are saying, like, you know, you, you need to exercise. You need to stay healthy just in case. Yeah, that's one part of it. But what about the mental stress? Stress will kill you faster than a virus will ever kill you. You know what I mean? If you stress out consistently, you're giving your no, you're giving your body no chance at all. If you do get that virus, right? We need to focus on people's mental state. People's mental state right now is so important because people are collapsing, people are falling away. You're going to see a rise in suicides. You're going to see a rise in depression, a rise in anxiety, just a rise in just the general world is going to go into a depressive state because of what's going on at the moment. And I think the very rich don't care because they've got backstops. But what about the very poor? How do they deal with the mental situation? And how are they going to deal with it not being able to see somebody? It's very dangerous. Yes, virus is important to do what you need to do with for the virus. But we're not talking about the mental state of people. And that's very, very dangerous. It was just an add-on that I wanted to just add. Because that's what I've been just noticing lately. But anyway, let's carry on. Seas, they see me crying, feel the knives inside poking me as we speak. Lost the top of balcony. What is my reality? I can't come back to earth because I'm losing grip of my gravity every day. Good luck with catching me. I feel that's beautiful. I can't come back to earth because I'm losing grip of my gravity. Very, very, very nicely. Fear of a masterpiece. I tear apart these wings that I used to fight with so gallantly. I am not a hero. Please don't group me with them. I've never saved nobody's life. I'd rather soak in their dread. A waste of oxygen on top of that I'm better off dead I tend to wounds that never heal and ease the pain No, 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 I hate hearing that type of fucking uh, words When people say I'm better off dead No, I completely fucking disagree with that I hate that It's not, you're never better off dead You're never, ever, ever better off dead And I've already given you that scenario If you had to save one person's life Let's say you had to give up your life for one person Right, so okay, well I'm gonna now I'm gonna give up my life to save him, right? Because I don't value my life, right? You are taking away your purpose from thousands of people. By you staying alive, you can add purpose and quality and value to so many people's lives. By you willing, want, willingly want to give that up, you deny so many people from receiving that from you. 
Purpose is important in this world. And every single person has a purpose in this world. Right? I don't think people understand that it just goes beyond your life. It goes beyond what you feel about yourself. It's about who you are to so many and what you do to so many and what you are to so many, even if people, even if you don't know it, you just smiling at someone can change someone's day. It's a purpose, right? So the whole thing of not, of not um, appreciating the gift of life kills me because you absolutely should appreciate the gift of life you're not here for us like a, you're not here for a single purpose you're here for a multiple purpose you know what i mean and it may not seem like that at times but just something like this just goes to show what purpose does you're saying these things on a song right there's so many people here right now we're sitting at how many people Thirteen thousand people have heard the song already right you've added to thirteen thousand people's lives it's crazy what purpose is and what that that uh, uh, ripple effect does. It's not evident right in front of you, but it's there. And never forget that. Let's go. The mess. I'm very stressed, well aware of this position that I've taken up. Tell you all these stories people try to say I'm making up. I'm sorry that I got the drama. Maybe I don't pray enough. I'm coming from a place where nobody thought I'd be brave. <laughs> place where other people thought that I would not be brave, meaning he's coming from a place of insecurity. So many people have to deal with that reality in their lives. So many people have to deal with that where they'll wake up and say, I hope today will be a good day. Just life has been so tough, man. And people have been so down. And we don't tend to know that there are so many people out there just praying that at least today will be a good day. And praying that they don't have to end today because they've got no more they've got no more hope for life hope's important it is very 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 important hope is what keeps us alive never lose that love you all man um for me now phenomenal phenomenal song i think it's great very real very down my alley obviously um, um i'm going to give it i'm going to give it i'm going to give it 10 content 10 Sound 10, content 10, vocal ability, okay, I'm going to give it a 9, 29 out of 30, which is almost a perfect score. So 29 out of 30 for me, man, this is perfect. You give me your grade down below. It's still a fast loss song. But you give me your grade down below, and I'll catch you on the next one. Love you all. Please stay safe, please stay healthy. Peace.